action. You said, Good one. wait, we're saying action? Sure, why not? Okay. So welcome action. to the Cowens COVID-19, no, no, no. It's not COVID. The Coop, you're a Cohen, remember? Cowan. Cowan. Okay. We're all Cowans, Cowans here. So welcome to yeah. the Cowens Cooped Up COVID-19 Cooking Show. It's not COVID. That's like C5, even though there's just four of us, mom, Luke, Brian, and me. I so I we took a walk tonight and we thought, hey, it'd be really fun to start a YouTube channel since we're all cooped up and we don't have a whole lot to do and share with you our favorite things to make and eat. And tomorrow we're going to make yeasted waffles. Now some of you may make waffles, some of you may eat those horrible Eggo waffles. Not, not here. We make yeasted waffles. The whole house will smell like yeast bread tomorrow and it's going to be waffles here nice and crisp on the outside and fluffy, and, and fluffy in the and, middle unlike so, those horrible egos so the cool thing about this is it does use yeast and of course because we're cooped up you can't go to the grocery store and get stuff so we're going to live on the edge the yeast expired on february the 4th 2020 so it's more than a month old but we're gonna live life on the edge and hopefully it will work so the first thing we've got to do luke is put the yeast in the bowl okay and that's pretty easy. Mm, um, you need to yeah. measure out, let's see, the one tablespoon active dry yeast. So here's one tablespoon, and Ryan, can you cut this open? Sure. And, and you and Luke measure out, that's a tablespoon, put one tablespoon in that bowl. So, here we go. Okay, while they're, let's see, are you helping him? Cut it off, there you go. Okay, teamwork. You hear him? Teamwork. All right, teamwork. So while they're doing that, after you guys do that, um, I don't know if you all know this, and I don't know where yeast really comes from, but Me either. yeast is a lot. It says it right on the package, and you can kill it. So you got to make sure that the yeast doesn't get hotter than 110 degrees. But our water heater only goes to 120, so the likelihood of us burning and killing our yeast is pretty small. But Luke and Ryan, hey, say, we're homeschooling too, because we school's are? been canceled. Sure, every time. Okay. So Ryan, I have a math question for you. Yeah. This says one half cup of warm water. So this is one quarter cup. So what is yeah. one quarter cup plus one quarter cup? Do you know? Two quarter cups. Two quarter cups. And Luke, if you reduce, <laughs> take those off. <laughs> <laughs> if you take off two quarter cups, how many cups do you have? Two quarter cups. If you two, reduce one it. One quarter plus two quarter. One quarter half plus one quarter cup. is a half a cup. <laughs> so how many of these are we going to use? One. Two. Two. And so like this run time. the water until it's warm, but not where it's absolutely hot. But pretty, pretty warm. Okay. So not like my shower hot because okay. I've been like hundred degrees. Okay, Ryan. Come here. Oh man, hold on, time out. Cut. Okay, so we have the water. Wait, 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 we ha why do we have to stop? Dogs. What did the dogs do, Ryan? Bark. Why? Because Rex is going to get rocky. Why does he get right here, Rocky? Rocky eats his tail. Uh, they, they and they are constantly Tony's. at each other. So we didn't realize they were in the house. So Luke, go ahead and put the hot water with Ryan in there and then stir it up with a little spoon. How come the inside thing? Can you get a little spoon to stir up the yeast? Okay. Sure. Okay, great. <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna do after we mix up the yeast is let it stand for a few minutes. And it says stir it and let it dissolve in the water. So we got no, two no, no. cups. That's a measuring spoon. No, just Use. a little bit. So why don't you take Use this one? Right, so it's a little chaotic. So stir it up a little bit. What isn't in this house? And we're gonna even do something a little bit more fun. And the, the recipe doesn't call it, but we can, we're gonna proof the yeast by putting a little sugar in it, proof? which makes it kind of puffy. And uh, it gives the sugar, the yeast something to eat. So we'll put a little sugar in it. It also, makes it go. I just like sugar, so. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't, right? Okay. Sugar is what feeds plants. They make it. The next thing it says is to make sure the yeast dissolves into the water. Ryan, you got that? Yep. All right. Then it says melt the butter over low heat in the microwave. Now, for the men in the audience, it says a half a cup of butter. And you don't have to measure this. 
in a measuring cup, one stick is one half cup. So, um, dump, dump, um, dump, we're gonna dump, melt dump. this in the microwave. So, Lou, this is your job. Go and melt this in the microwave. Put it on for about uh, a minute, and then we'll stir it and keep till it's melted. Da, 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 da. So, don't put the lid on it. Da, 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 da. For about, about a minute is what we Hold on. So the recipe calls for two cups of milk, either whole milk or 2%. We, we like 2% milk and we drink lactate. Luke, why do we drink lactate? You don't fart. Because we don't fart as much if we drink lactate. Yeah! So we're going to put this and fill it up to 2%. You mean two cups? Uh, yeah, two cups, not two percent. Good, good catch. All right, so then check the look, check the butter. Butter. Thanks. Everything's better with butter. Ew, that's totally dissolved. Okay, we'll bring it over here. Don't. It, it won't be that hot. It won't be that hot. <laughs> okay. So the next thing is put this milk in the microwave for about a minute. Okay. Now the reason we're putting the milk in the microwave, and this is not in the recipe, but because we're kind of smart cooks at the Cowan's uh, yep. Captive. <laughs> we're rocky yes. Yes. Yeah. We're rocky. In our COVID I kitchen, um, if, you, if you put this hot butter into that cold milk, you'll have solid milk pieces, and we don't want that. We want it to be fluid. And so we're going to heat the milk up just a little bit. No, COVID is only temporary until this whole thing blows down. What does the word temporary mean? mean? What's temporary? Is that a word? Temporary. Temporary. Okay. Now it says combine the butter with the milk, salt, and sugar. So Ryan, this is all the salt we have in our house. This. This is all we have. We tried to get sure? some. They were sold out. So don't get me started on hoarding. We don't know what that is, but we don't like it. So Ryan, let's put one teaspoon. What's that bird? Okay, I need you to have it. one <laughs> teaspoon of salt into the butter. Okay, so here I'll tap it in there. This is all the salt we own in the house tonight. All right, can you pour it in? Sure, but I'll. Okay, done. One teaspoon. Now it says that the sugar is optional, but anyone who drinks eats waffles knows that sugar. Is not optional. It says two tablespoons of sugar. That's Candy. flour. That's flour. <laughs> flour is the white, fluffy stuff. We need this. So can you take white, Brian and pour stuff. this tablespoon of sugar <laughs> in the butter? <laughs> okay. All right. Do it. Whoop. There you go. Great. One more. Oh, two tablespoons. We okay. need it really nice and sweet. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here you go. Pour it in. Pour. Okay. <laughs> that was not cool. Can you, stir, can you stir this up a little bit? Okay. <laughs> stir it up a little bit. All right. So Ryan is stirring that. Luke, check the temperature of the milk. Check the temperature of the milk. No, just with your fingers. Oh. It just needs to be warm. Can I drink some? Ryan, no more. No. Water. No drinking of the milk. I'm sorry that I actually swallowed. So, saying when I got the guilty day was laughing. All right, how is this? Oh. Is it warm? It's pretty warm now, which is perfect. So now we're gonna pour this together. Okay, Ryan, move your hands or you'll get milk all over it. Ready? Now, men, if you haven't used this before, if you if you lollygag and you cook it slow, uh, and pour it slow, it'll go everywhere. So you gotta have to get after it and pour. See, see? oops, too much, too fast. You just said. All right, and for you junior boys. <laughs> out there you don't pour from way up high because then it'll splash and make a big mess you or the dog down is low like this move that up down down low like this so it doesn't go everywhere and then ryan you stir it up a little bit more yes sir now you want to make sure that it's not too hot because if you pour this hot stuff into this yeast you'll kill it so we don't want to we don't want to kill it at all don't okay. do this. So the next thing it says is combine the butter with the milk and the salt. Luke, stop. Don't do that. And the sugar. Uh, and then test with your finger to make sure it's cool to lukewarm. So Luke, since you would be an authority on lukewarm, make sure that the milk is not too hot and it's just lukewarm. Yeah, did, yeah. did you wash your hands? Okay, because we don't want COVID in our waffles. Okay, oh, you're good. Is it good? Not too hot. And then it says add the 
uh, hold on, then stir into the dissolved yeast mixture. This is the dissolved yeast, and look, is it, is it dissolved? Do you see any more yeast in there? No. Does it smell delicious or what? Already smells no. good. All right, so now we're gonna pour it together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Again, don't lollygag like a junior boy here. Right there. Oh yeah, so I did. Stir that up. Can you stir that up, Ryan? And yes, then the fun part is it says you put three cups of all-purpose flour into here. So we need a one cup. Luke, get the one cup. We'll get a spoon. Get a spoon. Get a spoon. Just get a regular spoon and a knife. Mm. So the most common mistake that people make when they're making stuff, they're baking stuff, is they put too much flour in. So you kind of need to make sure that the flour is, is fluffy or you'll get too much flour and it makes your whole recipe, whether it's a cake or cookies, wrong. Um, I watched this kind of strange guy on YouTube and he uses a scale and, and that's a good idea. And I do that too, but, but not for waffles. So we're gonna put this in here, right? Why did you tell me One, this? let's see, here goes two. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can scrape it off of there. Hooray! Oh, there you go, scrape it off. Nice and level. Yep, there you go. For you junior boys, you don't pack it. You just scrape it. Okay, one more. One more. Oh, oh. There we go. Scrape it off. It's a tiny mountain. Yeah, good. Three. Now it says to stir all of this up until you get a shaggy dough. So we're going to take a spoon and we're going to stir it. Shaggy dough. Scooby Doo! Scooby Doo! Scooby Dooby Doo. Oh, yeah, Shaggy. Where are you? Mm, what's Scooby Doo? What? Okay. What's a good name? We're gonna have to eat. We're gonna that. A Shaggy Doe would be either very weird looking or is this a very, very weird looking. Or is this a Scooby Doe? Scooby Doe. Okay. I'm gonna zoom, zoom in. Okay, so it's not shaggy, it's lumpy. <laughs> right now. Um, so we're stirring to kind of get the lumps. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just Where? Want, Where? Yeah, you stir it, Luke. And I'm gonna get some saran wrap. Let me know when you're done and I'll zoom in again. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, just shaggy. Okay, that's pretty shaggy. Okay, so. Like my rug that rock. Now we can take this off. This. Kind of tap it out, and guess what? We're just gonna leave this on the counter overnight, and then tomorrow morning we'll add two large eggs and some baking soda, ah! and we will cook them up. So we don't have any um, saran wrap. We gotta use the fancy press and seal stuff. We'll cover it up. Press and seal. Press. Press, Ryan. Pressing. 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 We have a joke tonight. Yes. What's what's the joke? Knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting oh, no. cow. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> okay. So which baseball player likes water the best? What? Which baseball player likes water the best? Uh, watermelon. The pitcher. The pitcher. <laughs> I have a number one. I have a number one. Okay. All right. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because the hen egged him on. <laughs> okay, so we'll we'll come back tomorrow morning. We'll <laughs> uncover yeah, this. I another joke. Oh, one more. Okay, what is it, Ryan? Why? Which 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 baseball player likes melon the best? Which one? A watermelon. A watermelon. Like, okay, that's pretty funny. This is okay, the so we'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll finish the waffles. <laughs> Welcome back to Five C. One night has passed. The yeast has risen. All right, we're gonna see if this right. worked. If it did, we'll let you know. If you recall, the uh, excuse me, the yeast was 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 expired. But in this time of uh, of, great uh, need. <laughs> great need and desperation. You use it anyways. Okay, that looks perfect. And you can see it even rose higher than uh, than this level, and it's collapsed a little bit. Does it smell good? Woo! Ah. No. Uh, it smells like yeast. What a great smell for in yeah. the morning. So there's only two things to do today. Luke is going to put in one half teaspoon of baking powder soda. And spread that all around. Yeah. 
spread it all around. There you go. And I'm going to put in two eggs. So, uh, I will put one egg, you put it in the other egg. Well, I'll crack it and you scramble it, okay? No, put that down. Okay. Ryan? Oops, that one did not crack right. Oh dear. It's okay. It's fine. A little bit of shell. Okay, Ryan. Hey, stop. Ryan. It's shell. It's not shell. Ryan. Hey, scramble these eggs up, okay? Okay. Dad's going to wash his hands. We all washed our hands a lot, and even this morning. Okay, use this whisk and beat those eggs up. How did you even get that? I put it over there. Wait, 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 wait. I grabbed it. No, 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 not like that. There you go, scramble like them up. That. We want to scramble them because, um, Good. Um, and beat these eggs before we put them in there because what we want to do is uh, not beat this batter too much. So you put the eggs and the soda into the batter. Whoop. Now we stir it. Oh, it's so weird. And then you just gently stir it together. You want to show them what this looks like? It looks weird. It looks kind of weird. It is, it is shaggy dough this morning, but it will thin out just a little bit. No, it you is, need Scooby dough. It is kind of weird looking dough. Um, but but it will all come together to make the most delicious waffles you have ever. So you want to help me, Ryan? Okay, you help. Stir. There we go. Stir, uh -huh. stir. Ha ha. Uh -huh. We even put on our pants for this video, so I know you'll be proud of that. And Dad's fixing to have to go upstairs and work. Uh -huh. But before we start, we wanted to share with uh -huh. you our most delicious overnight waffles. Okay, Lou, please stop. Okay, Mom, <clears throat> if you could show them what the dough looks like when it's all mixed together, how great it, it is. Ta-da. It is that consistency, which is right. It's a little more springy yeah. than usual uh, waffle batter, which is kind of kind of doughy, uh, kind of runny. So then we're going to get our one measuring cup. Now, I'll give you a recommendation we've learned is on this particular recipe, the first waffle needs a little bit of Pam um, before you put it on the waffle iron. And so just a little spritz to make it come off. After the first waffle, you don't need any more Pam um, because uh, there's enough moisture in the waffles to, uh, it'll come right off. So your waffle iron may be a little bit different than ours. It takes about four minutes to cook and we use about one cup of batter. So I know it's like that's overflowing. That is overflowing. That's amazing. I love it. But we want to make sure we have good like full waffles. Said, and that's so we're going to use a jackhammer. A jackhammer? No. You that's, like a, that's a juicer. Right? Okay, Ryan, please stop. Okay, so here we go. Ready? So we'll put it on and we'll set the timer for four minutes. You're my best friend. Here we go. I want to fix that. Alright, Alexa, stop. Alexa, this is Alexa our first. stop. So, okay. this would be so. our first. Okay. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. This minute. Okay, so. First batch. Our four minutes and is up. And we are ready to pull the waffle out. Second batch. And sometimes, and we, we did cook one before this one, we didn't put that on film. So, what That's we're going to so do is pull it off, and the proper tool. To get the uh, the waffle off of the waffle iron, if it sticks on the top, is a fork. You just put your plate right here, and then you put it right here, and you just kind of pull it just like that. Isn't that cool? And isn't that beautiful? And it smells so good. And it's and it's so, huge. Mm, it is huge. So what we're gonna do is put a little butter on it when it's nice and hot. I use an egg beater on cooked waffles. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> hey, someone take a taste test. We have. I will, I will. Delicious overnight yeasted waffles. Let's cut it and let the boys taste good for it. Hallelujah. Luke, right, right. Here you go. No, no, no. Not so loud. There, that's one way to make it quiet. Luke, there you go. Give us a taste test and an opinion. Good or not good? Thumbs up? Awesome. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Toe up, toe up. So there you have it, overnight yeasted waffles from the C5 crew. Yeah. Have a great day.